Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to Plus Size by Default. I'm bringing you guys a sexy, sultry look. It's been a while, so if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're old, you already know gang shit. <laughs> like the video and comment below. Let me know where you're coming from. If you're coming from Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, wherever it is that you click that link. But yeah, I'm not going to talk too much because I already talked <laughs> enough in the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I've already jumped into the video and did my eyebrows because those kind of take the longest. I wanted to make this a personal video because I haven't been on here in a while. So what we're going to do is a talk through. I talk a lot. So I hope you're ready for this. And if you're not here for the tea, if you're not here for the, you know, the ratchet, I suggest you just exit out the video. But don't forget to like it first, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so um, right now it's my series of Valentine's Day looks. I kind of have people taking over my Snapchat, so if you're interested in that, make sure you add me on Snapchat and let me know. So most of the time, right after I do my eyebrows, because I like my eyeshadow to be like flawless, I go in with a blending brush. Doesn't really matter as long as it's like a dome, fluffy blending brush that kind of, you know, can get in there. I use that to absorb any excess so that my crease um, is not going to skip when I apply my eyeshadow. So today we're going to be using the Morphe 39A Dare to Create Palette. Boop, boop, boop. If you don't have it, you need to get it. It's one of the best palettes there is out there. It has a whole range of different colors. I mean, the colors could be a little better, but it does have a whole range of different colors. They are buttery, they are pigmented, and I do highly suggest this palette. Especially if you don't want to have like a whole bunch of palettes, this palette does everything you need. So get you some this is what the palette looks like the zulu palette by juvia's place i love this palette as well i mean the yellow could be a little more pigmented that's what i bought it for but it's okay how about we do something sultry um sultry meaning sexy oh i'm about to go on a date with my papa let me go make sure you know i'm looking good we're gonna do one of those so something that screams sexy to me is reds a lot of you know dark vampy purples shit like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pink out of it as my transition shade for today. Okay, so next I'm going to take on a smaller blending brush one that's gonna help me to get all up in that crease wrong i'm gonna use this kind of burgundy-ish where is it i can't see all these motherfucking lights <laughs> i'm gonna use this burgundy-ish color right here i don't know if that's burgundy but maroon whatever you call it this one what um i like to do is since i'm hooded it is really hard to kind of define where your crease is and to figure out like where you should put your shadow so I like to, if you could see when I do my eyeshadow, kind of tilt my head back. Tilt your head back and using a brush like this, this is going to be your best bet. And use small brushes if you have small eyes like me. Tilt your head back and place the brush in your crease, but you want to kind of feel where that bone is. Maneuver your brush all over that space. Like, I'm talking about, and I'm lightly doing this. Like, literally like this. Like, this is, the tip of the brush is like the only thing that's really in my crease. So, you stick it here. Tilt your head back and you just maneuver all around that bone. And I'm not taking it all the way in yet because there is still a lot of pigment on my brush. So I want that pigment to be kind of based mostly on the outside of my eye. So then you want to blend it inward as your brush kind of fades out. You know what I mean? Now let's get back into it. The key to blending is to always go back and use the shadow you used before or the brush you used before. That is what a lot of people fail to realize. It's not just about... That's what a lot of people fail to realize. It's not just about putting color, putting color, putting color. Yes, it's about graduating color, but it's also about using the brushes that you used before. So I'm going to take that big fluffy blending brush that we used before. I'm not going to put any product on it. And I'm just going to blend out right over that purple or that maroon I forgot what color I told y'all <laughs> but yeah that maroon 
and be mindful of the colors that you use because they will blend together and create different colors so if you have something in mind looking at the color you have to always remember the color wheel if you put something on top of another if you mix it together it's going to create something else so just be mindful all right boom okay so i'm gonna go in with this and i should have just told y'all this before we're just gonna be basically working with these colors here okay i'm gonna use this color now and i'm gonna be using the same brush Nobody told me this shit, I had to get used to it. Niggas thinking I'm bugging, they think I'm losing it. Michael Jordan, I'm balling, they think I'm hooping it. She popped the perk and it's working, so I go through with it. I sip a cup of the lemon and I go through with it. She moaning, screaming, and telling me keep on doing it. I'm a boogie, what's goody, baby, I'm true to this. I pulled up in my hoodie so you can know it's me. Hey, yo, that's word of my ass, it ain't no hold me. A nigga talk behind my back, that's a hold of me. Now you want to take your favorite concealer, whatever it is you like to clean up your eyeshadow with, if you're doing a caprice or you're doing whatever. Um, this is a good trick. I use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic in Glow. My best. The only reason I really was reading it is because my best friend was like, "The color is not CW06. The color is on the side." So a bitch gotta now read what the hell is saying on the side. But the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer is really good. I use this to clean up my brows, and then if I'm not using that, I use the LA Girl Holy Grail HD Concealer in Warm honey that's my shit and i also use that to clean my eyebrows up so boom let me use so if i'm it okay it depends if i'm doing a carved out look or if i'm doing a halo eye it really does depend so today since we are going to be doing a more hold on, hold on. so today since we are going to be doing more of a carved out look you want to get you a brush that is more carved out obviously let me see if i have a good example of one which i don't so if you're not going to use a carved out brush which we're not you want to use an angle brush or you know something that's going to help you get up in there so something like this this is like a battered one because this is what we use it for so being that i want my eyeshadow to pop i'm going to take the nyx because it's lighter and I'm going to just take my brush, and I always do this, just take my brush, one swipe is literally all you need. You might have to go back in depending on how much I do because I'm a little extra. But, yeah. Now let's get into this. A nigga gave me his word and then he told me he ain't really hold it down how I supposed to be. I should have put him in the ground how I supposed to be. Body trying to get found while I'm rolling weed. Ski mask, I'm hoping that they don't notice me. Chopper knock a nigga down on purpose. I pull up with a fuck. Now, I never take my eyeshadow all the way up to my crease because when I do come back up, I want to make sure that everything is evened out and I didn't go too high. So when I do fold my eye back up, I can see that I can bring it up a little higher. But it is all about your preference. So I'm just going to take it up a little higher. I'm not going to go too crazy. And then I'm going to take the brush that I, oh, from the beginning, the brush that I used to kind of blend out the, the um, concealer for my eyebrows. I'm going to use that to blend everything else together. So as you can see, I'm brushing it in this way so that it gives it that gradient effect. All right. And then you also want to use that brush to absorb any extra concealer so being this is the important step for my hoodie girls because as you can see if you're not careful that concealer will spread that to be like flawless so i'm gonna do my other eye and then i'm gonna come back and then we're gonna get started on the rest okay so as you can see they're not always gonna be perfect <laughs> but at least you know it is close <laughs> let's make sure 
So again, with the hooded eye thing, you want to always make sure you level, girl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I wanted to go out of the box, but I'm a little scared. I was going to put red, but I'm a little, again, a little scared. I don't know how that's going to take. Red, though? We're going to do it. Fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is what it should look like when you're done. It's not always going to be perfect, but practice does make perfect. You know what I'm saying? I've been practicing for two and a half years now. So trust me, I know. <laughs> but I'm going to do something really off the wall, and I hope this works out. God got me. Um, I'm going to put red. I said red. <laughs> Ooh, red. <laughs> I wanted to do something totally different, but I don't know. I don't know. So what I usually do is when I um, am a little scared to do something, I swatch it on my hand and then I put it close to my eye to see what it work. I think that red is too red because I was going to use this red out of the, um, the Take Me to Brazil palette. But instead I'm going to use this darker, more brownish red, which I think might work better, out of the Juvia's Place. Yep, yeah, I had it. The Saharian palette, I'm going to use this. this this bad boy right here okay and i'm just gonna take a regular flat brush to do that i'm putting pain on them hollow tip i let it rip i let it rain on them fuck a hook i put a chain on them i tie that shit around your neck i spill the brains on them i know this shit ain't been the same niggas chains on you for the money and the fame but i'm going up like a plane i ain't even got time oh it don't look bad okay okay so before i get too hyped what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a let's see I was only supposed to be using one palette today, y'all, and I want to be using like everything else. I'm so sorry about that. So, sorry again. I'm going to take. Let me see. I'm gonna go back into the Zulu palette, then I'm gonna take the Zulu. Yes, I, I got this right, girl. Stop that second guessing yourself. I'm gonna take this pink out of the Zulu palette, and I'm gonna run that between the reddish color and the purple right here at the end. Okay, we're gonna take that right at the end. And then, since we can't forget about our purple, because I'm just not here for it right now, I'm gonna take the purple out of the Zulu palette, this one right here, and I'm going to fade between the pink and the purple. But no, we're not done. <laughs> you must go back and use the first purple that you used, that dark, dark maroon, that right there. And I'm going to take that bad boy on the same brush because <laughs> I hate washing brushes so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to use the very tip of it to define my crease again okay okay and then we're going to bring it in so you want to make like a sort of I guess a V or a C depending on the shape of your eye or however you want to call it you want to give that definition back right last but not least <laughs> at least in the eyeshadow department you want to take that big fluffy brush again and you want to just run it and don't be scared just run it right above where the pink and the purple meet i really don't go back in with eyeshadow when i'm dealing with my upper crease because i don't want my crease to get any darker so i kind of just use what was already on the brush and then you just blend all of that back in you blend your front and we're done you can add from here you can add a liner whatever it is that you're gonna do uh, I hate doing liners on camera but I mean I'll give it a go so one of my most favorite inexpensive liners to use especially when you're like me and you don't really use liner and I don't want to spend $30 ugh. so I spend 99 cent on this NYC liquid liner it works really well and it dries matte that's all I ask for 
Um, I like the precision tip because I'm not a felt tip type of girl. I love that brush. So this has the brush and I like it. So, yeah. No, this is going to be... Oh. Oi! I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, they not perfect, but they worth it. So, being that I don't really do liner like that, give me some points. Okay, so you're going to put any lashes that you really like, whatever. I like to put my lashes on after I beat my face. So, let's get into this face. So, I'm going to really talk to y'all while I do my face because this is a really, really, really important part. First, you want to start by... Chapping your lips. Chap them lips, girl. Chap them lips. I had to put on lotion too because my hands were and she is fucked. So, what I'm gonna do is you always wanna start with skincare. Skincare is very important, being that I already did my skincare. Uh, you know what? Fuck that. We're gonna do skincare. Uh, why am I talking in a Spanish accent? I just realized that. Like, <laughs> okay. So, starting with skin. Let's get my voice. I'm not Spanish. <laughs> So starting with <laughs> so starting with skincare, right? Oh, I lived in a Spanish neighborhood, so mm. starting with Spanish. Oh. <laughs> okay. So getting into the space, you always want to make sure that your skincare is elite. My skin, I get dry spots in the winter time, so you know that's what these little dark patches are. But other than that, skin on the fuck late. <laughs> Don't play. But I usually use things that are mostly water. So, this thing that I've been using on my face a whole lot for maybe the past couple of months is the Vichy Mineral 89. It's made up of 89% water, so get you some. I don't really like using shit that I don't know what's in it, and I know exactly what's in this because it's made of water. So, I usually use that, or I use the Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum, but we're not going to use that today. We're only going to use this serum. So, I usually do one two and you really don't even need that much but my face feels ultra dry today and then you want to add a little bit on your forehead all right and it dries pretty quickly being that i have the fan on it's gonna dry ultra fast lately i've been using the tart shape tape um and deep to conceal my eyes and then on top of that i'll put like fawn or whatever else other foundation whatever else concealer that i'm going to put on top of it um i use the shape tape first you know what i should talk and do stuff right not not whatever not, not what help everybody yeah i've been like doubling up on my concealer and i do apply my concealer before my foundation because it gives me this flawless finish that i've never ever 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 had before so you guys should try it you'll see when i'm done but i'm gonna use the tarte shape tape and deep i'm running low so if anybody wants to contribute to the funds boop drop it below <laughs> but no i'm gonna take sharp the tarte shape tape and deep and i'm gonna use that under the eye first because it has like a thicker consistency and i feel like it gets I feel like it gets all of that darkness and it gets all of that, like, all the lines together. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but in my mind it does, so that's all that matters to me. Because I paid $25 for this and it better. In my head it works miracle, so I'm going to keep thinking that. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring it out like this. Bring it down. I like to bring it down the sides of my nose because, I don't know, another theory that I have for myself is it makes my nose seem a little smaller. So, I bring it right up. I'm running so low on this shit. I just need to stop being cheap and buy another one. Because it's worth it. And I know everybody has their little thing with Tarte right now. But, if I have a product that works for me, I'm going to use it. 
I don't have to use their foundations. I'm just use what I like on their lines. All right, all right. A good alternative or a good dupe to this is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in what's this one? C CW7, but it has a name in tan. I use that under the eye. When I put it on, you'll see it looks exactly like it. Maybe just a tad bit lighter, but same thing. Now I always keep a washcloth by my bed, well, by my little makeup station because you know there's a lot of brushes that I like to go back and use and I've used them before. So the brush that I used earlier to clean up my eyebrows, I'm gonna use that to blend out the concealer edges at least. And I like to put a lot of product in the middle so that when I blend out the edges and everything starts to dry up, the middle is what dries last. Okay. Okay, I'm giving y'all all the tea, like, all the tea. I'm back and I'm better. And I ain't even gonna lie. A lot of niggas say they gonna ride, they ain't really gonna ride. They don't wanna be a homicide. So they call the niggas bro, but they really playing both sides. I don't trust a nigga bottom line. Yes, my brushes are gonna be a little dirty because I did my makeup earlier. But y'all want a video, so take it. <laughs> I use the... Uh, <laughs> The bare minerals. Why I can't talk right now? The bare minerals and cappuccino. What I usually do is, since this foundation is really good, but it does dry extremely fast, I'll do one side of my cheek first. One pump does one side of my cheek, and I take my brush and I kind of just spread it around. And this is the crucial part. You want to blend it right up on top of that concealer. Don't take it all the way up, but take it up. And you want to use patting motions. And like I said, this concealer dries fast, so you want to move fast. Right. And I like to use it on the entire side of my face. Make sure you're blending it up into those hairlines and into your neck. Next. And now don't trust the bitch bottom line. Just because she on your ride, that don't mean she a ride or die. Your worst enemy could be right by your side. Huh? But I'm going low. Baby, you ain't never fall with a thaw, so it's all fine. I'll make you fall in, yeah. Baby, I'll make you fall in love with it. Yeah. And you know it's all. So next what you want to do is You want to grab your Sasha Buttercup powder This is my favorite powder to use When I'm setting my highlight And you want to just set under your eye Pat back Whoa. Before we even do that I forgot to tell y'all Make sure that you take your blending brush And you kind of dab over it if you like me and you get a lot of lines by now the concealer has probably set into your line so you want to just go look at my dad right over those and then you as soon as you do that head down and press the powder lightly like you want to do like a light dusting right over it just to just to get the powder on you light dusting And I'm just pressing the powder. I'm not even like rubbing it. I'm just pressing. Now you want to get down and dirty. You want to get back in that powder. And you want to just start pressing it. And pushing it all into your face. Bringing it up wherever you need it to be. Boom, bitch. Proud, proud, proud of myself. I'm going to take the Dare to Create 39A palette. And I like using this warm toned um, contour shade. I think I'm pointing at the right one. <laughs> this warm toned contour shade because it's so, so good. Usually I use the um, Black Opal 700D, 700 powder in deep. But lately I've just been... And it's so cool tone. Lately, I've just been wanting something to warm up my face a little bit. And as you can see, this powder is 
Okay. And I take my contour shade, I'm buffing it up into my highlight. Just so it can give me that super defined snatch. Oh, yes, you see her. And then I take the same powder and I apply it. Now, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to just finish the rest of my face because that's all I really wanted y'all to really know. Unless you have any further questions, I'll be glad to, you know, answer them. But, yeah, I feel like I've been talking too much. So, let's get, <laughs> let's speed this up a little bit. I lied. I lied. I can't. I have to tell y'all what I'm doing to my face. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to get 100 questions. So, I have to. What I'm going to use now is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro and Cappuccino, the pressed powder. I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face. With this look, I'm going to be using the Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the shade that I'm going to use to highlight is in Eclipse, which is this bad boy right here. I sort of mix all of them sometimes, but we're probably going to do... Oh, we might even use Spectra. I don't know yet. But I'm going to take my Botanics 100% Organic Toning Spray and I'm going to spray my face. And I'm running low. And then I'm going to take a highlighter brush. Where is the powder that you said? And we're going to take Eclipse. Right up. You want to kind of put your face to where the light hits. Or even sometimes you can smile, but I like to put my face to where the light hits. And just rub it right along your cheekbone. Okay. So I put the brush sideways so that it kind of just catches it itself. And I'm barely touching my cheek. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to mix it with Spectra to see. It just gives it like a little purple tint, which is cute too. Now, I must admit these shades are a little light skin for my shade or darker, but I'm going to show you a trick on how to make any highlighter work for you. I'll probably look like I have some beans on the side of my face. What you want to do is take that same spray, whatever size spray you use, to spray your face again. Now, I kind of saturate my face because this is the essential step. You want to take that face brush that you use and you want to just press it right over your highlight. Just go back and forth, back and forth until you get that flawless sleeve. Like it's kind of just coming out your face regularly. Back and forth. And yes, this is going to spread the glitter a little bit, but I don't mind because I'm a glow god. So do you see the, the big difference between before and after? Like, It didn't take your highlight away fully, but it did kind of blend it in a little bit. So me being as extra as I am, I'm just going to go back a little bit more and apply just a little bit. 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 Then you want to take... A little brush so you can apply some of the wool where I shut up. I'm gonna use the Flutterful and Fierce Kiss Lashes. These are the Halloween edition, so they probably don't have them anymore. Um, but these are like a these are a really common lash to find. Like they're wispies, but the name of these are Vamp. Vampress. So let me take them out so you can see exactly what they look like, which are super duper common lashes to find. Like, don't be scared. You can find these anywhere. And to apply these, I'm going to use my dual lash glue, which is my favorite. I need to be up with my more. Where is she? Oh, there she is. The green one that has the brush on adhesive and some tweezers, and you should be okay after that. Okay, 
that's how you do that. Now, I don't really know what color I want to do my lips, y'all. Like, I think I want to do the red. But what red? Or do I want to do them like a nude? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do like a nude glossy. A nude glossy, a glossy nude. <laughs> I'm going to use the Vivid Matte. And this is like one of the first lips I bought, lipsticks I bought. Um, the Vivid Matte Liquid Li Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Lacquer, I want to say. Whatever. And Coffee Buzz. Pray for me, y'all. You know what? No. I'm going to line my lips first. And for some reason, for some weird reason, I like to use matte lipsticks to line my lips. So I'm going to use Embellish by ColourPop, my go-to, because she's a, like a dark brown. And I'm going to use that to line my lips. I'm gonna use Beauty Mark by NYX. I think she know it. And she know I keep a gun in the glove and the sock. She hold it whenever I'm done with it. Now I'm going off. Yes, honey. Ah! I'm happy. This is what I wanted. This is perfect. Uh, we're going to do this hair, and then we're going to come back with the final look, okay? <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, shit.